That Yuan Shu has never known his true place. Tao Tao, join forces with me and we will send him back to where he belongs! First, ascertain the status of the battlefield. Tao Tao has been here for a while. I should ask him. I don't know much about the current situation, but you look absolutely amazing. Hmm. <laughs> What you see is the glory of the nobility. It is a great honor for you to be able to fight alongside me. It seems that Yuan Shu is rapidly approaching Ding Tao. <laughs> for a relative of Cao Cao's, Tao's, you seem like a man who understands the natural order of things. Ding Tao, perhaps that will be where this is settled. My lord could easily win this battle on his own. Feel free to sit back and relax at camp, Master Yuan Shao. Hmm, a true nobleman fights with honor and not deceit. He does not rest in the main camp and watch his allies fight for him. Yuan Chao's officer Sun Tzu is a capable fighter. He is much like his father, Sun Jian. Yes, a fine report. Quick and to the point. Sun Jian's son, well, he will be no match for me. <laughs> Chen Yu of Shou Shun remains unsure about joining Yuan Shu. Should we attack him? So you're our lord's old friend. Don't worry. I'll drive off every last one of the enemy troops. Who are you? Zhao Zhao's bodyguard? Another uncouth-looking brute? I certainly hope you will prove capable in battle. It's a shame I can't set any traps for the enemy. I at least would like to come up with a strategy or something. The nobility have no need of traps or plots. We face our foes with honor and dignity. We have received an update on the battle situation. The enemy's supply lines stretch all the way to Guangdu. Oh, what a rare treat it is to encounter one as polite and refined as yourself. The supply lines. If we can cut them, the enemy will be thrown into confusion. Huh? You want to know the current situation? Yuan Shu's vanguard is taking up position at Wu Chao. What a gruff and unrefined man. But regardless, we should start by taking down the enemy vanguard in Wu Chao. Zhao Zhao, did you have to gather up every stray dog you could find? Well, so be it. I have ascertained the general state of affairs now.
Lord Yuan Shu entrusted me to lead the attack. I must be sure to impress him. <laughs> Forces have taken this area in my name. We shall defend this position. Do not allow a single enemy through. <laughs> Failed in the one task I was given. General Liu Xiong has been defeated. We can't win now. Run for it. <laughs> We lost the advance guard. This battle isn't going well. Supplies determines the victor. We must get this food to Lord Yuan Shu. Enemy attack! Keep those supply units safe! This is the boss of the supply unit. Defeat him and cut off their supplies. Lies. This means trouble for Lord Yuan Shu's troops. I am a Yuan. Victory is inevitable. Your skills are simply magnificent. I won't be overcome by the likes of Yuan Chao or Cao Cao. You'll soon see how great I truly am. Target is that parcel of land. Prepare to move. We're advancing. Everyone follow my lead. Smash the enemy base to pieces! We must advance our forces. Follow my lead. Our orders are to capture that strategic location. I want our formation to be in perfect order. We must capture that position. I'm relying on everyone to do their best here. Uh, 
We cannot afford to lose this position. I shall personally see to its defense. We must advance our forces. Follow my lead. Let's go! We're taking over that area, even if it's the last thing we do. Let's go! The enemy does not stand a chance against our might! Let us go capture that area. We shall make it a thing of beauty. Let's go. The enemy does not stand a chance against our might. It is impossible. How could I lose? This has to be some sort of mistake. We managed to deal Yuan Shu a decisive blow. It will be some time before he sticks his head out again. <clears throat> this is the glory of the noble army of the Yuan. Cao Cao, I am sure you felt it gave you extra strength. Most impressive, Master Yuan Shao. That is how a true leader should fight a battle. Yes. This ought to put Yuan Shu in his place for a while. Uh, I bring urgent news. Gong Sun San is advancing his forces towards Yi. You must return at once. Calm yourself, Guo Tu. Yan Liang and Wen Chao are in place in Ye. There are very few who can best them in battle. On top of that, the morale of our troops is at an all-time high. Gong Sun Zan will be easily dealt with. I am sure you heard that, Cao Cao. As you can see, I must be off. Hmm. I will need Yuan Shao's strength to oppose Yuan Shu. However, if he manages to defeat Gong Sun Zun and unite Hebei, I must work quickly. Welcome, welcome! Do please come again! Yan Niang, how fares the battle? The forces of Gong Sun Zan are fighting with surprising vigor, and our front lines are being pushed back. The Bai Ma cavalry is proving particularly troublesome. Gong Sun Zan's forces may reach Ye soon. Lord Yuan Shao, you must evacuate at once. No. What kind of commander would I be if I fled before the battle? It is most certainly not appropriate behavior for a nobleman such as myself. My lord, you show us all the way! It is when things look most grim that a chance often presents itself. 
We will use this opportunity to slay Gong Sun Zan and unite Hebei! Advance! Elite troops of the Yuan clan! We must defeat Gong Sun Zan and unite Hebei! Then we can't fight on horseback. Ah, this 
Stop the attack of the mounted enemy. Now we can advance. Shout. Please, hold back right now! I cannot! I will not run and hide. My ancestors would never forgive me. Take this! <laughs> Lord, you ain't show! Whatever may come, I will fearlessly show myself boldly to all. That is my honor. That is my pride. Bold and glorious warriors, come with me and fight bravely! <laughs> Play by standing your ground is worthy of praise. I will honor that courage by facing you in battle myself. A true nobleman neither runs nor hides. I will fight like a man and send you to the afterlife. <laughs> From up on your horse? I will shoot you off soon enough! Everyone, open fire! Defeat all of Gamsun Zan's soldiers! Against such mighty weapons, we stand no chance! Our cavalry has been routed! Insolent fool! Let's go capture one of those unsightly positions. Follow me. All units, halt! This is... It would appear that no match. I have no idea. The army, you and Shao, were so mighty. How do you see the true strength of the nobility? My power and prestige grow more impressive every day. This is bad. Master Zhao Yun! Master Zhao Yun has been defeated! The might of Yun Xiao's army is beyond compare. Even Xiao Yun is no match. <laughs> Yun Xiao's made it to our main camp already? I must cut down his misplaced ambition with my own blade. <laughs> the one to claim Hebe. Prepare yourself for the inevitable, Gong Sun Zan. I am a Yuan. 
Victory is inevitable. Your skills are simply magnificent. We shall defend this position. Do not allow a single enemy through. Shao is destined to rule this land. Congratulations, Lord Yuan Shao. Hebei belongs to you now, my lord. <laughs> Victory was a foregone conclusion with me at the head of our army. Pay heed, men. We have slain Gong Sun Zan, thereby removing the threat facing us. It is time for me to make my move to claim dominion over the land. Oh, dominion over the land! This land is vast, and there are many who have yet to surrender before my might. But there is no army which can match ours. My victory is only a matter of time. All we must do is continue moving forward! Advance, man! It is time for the noble Yuan Shao, ruler of Hebei, to unite this land and become conqueror of all we can see! We will follow you to the ends of the earth, my lord. I swear, I will not rest until this land is yours, Lord Yuan Shao. After rescuing the Emperor from Shun'un, Cao Cao leads him to his own capital of Shu Cheng. His control of the revered Emperor of the long-reigning Han Dynasty gives him a certain prestige. Elsewhere, Yuan Shu's faction is gradually losing support. Panicking, he does the unthinkable. He declares himself Emperor, basing his claim on the imperial seal he had taken from the late Sun Jun. He claims to be the true leader and calls on all faithful lords to support him. However, this gives Yuan Shao the perfect excuse against him. Shao proclaims Shu a traitor and begins his own campaign against him. Yuan Shu, that filthy traitor. Not only has he taken the Imperial Seal for himself, he has used it to position himself as Emperor. This is outrageous. It is a disgrace. It is unforgivable. It is beyond unforgivable. The assistance he provided to Master Sun Jian must have been merely a plot in order to obtain the Imperial Seal. I imagine there are many other people who share your anger at him naming himself Emperor, my lord. There is Master Cao Cao, who has the real Emperor in his custody, and also Han loyalist Master Liu Bei, and Yuan Shu's vassal Master Sun Se. All of them appear eager to take down Yuan Shu. We could work together with them to make our lives much easier. 
That is a fine idea. Make preparations at once. Father, we are ready to go to battle. We await your order. Let us bring down judgment upon the head of the man who would defile our name. My wife and I are ready to give all we have. Fine words, my son. I've united Hebei, but while my clansmen wreaks havoc like this, I cannot make any move to unite the land. We must carry out our duty as nobles and put an end to the perfidious Yuan Shu claiming the title of emperor. Zheng Ji, you must also support my father as a member of the venerable Yuan clan. Yes, you may leave it to me. Yuan Shao, I had a feeling you would be here. Of course. The Yuan clan has supported the Han court for four generations. Yet now one of our number has the temerity, the outrageous arrogance to take the title for himself. Huh. At one time, Yuan Shu had control of half the land. But it seems many have rebelled against his rule. Indeed. His claim to power is now a relic of the past. By the way, Cao Cao, I hear that you have taken in His Majesty. I am most impressed by your loyalty. I would have done so myself were it not for Gong Sun Zan getting in my way. But His Majesty must be uncomfortable in the Central Plains. What with Lu Bu having run rampant through the area, I will take him to Ye. That will be for the best. I have already prepared a palace for him in Shu Cheng. However, His Majesty would likely be more comfortable in your presence, Yuan Shao. Yet, His Majesty made the decision himself to come to me in Shu Cheng. I am not one to dictate where he resides. Well, no. Of course not. Yuan Shao, 
We should advance on Yuan Shu from different directions. That will ensure our victory. Now then, I shall see you on the battlefield. The Emperor made the decision himself? No doubt he made that decision after you showed him your blade. Everyone knows that Zhao Cao controls the Emperor now. Master Yuan Shao, we should save that talk for later. For now, we must decide how we are going to deal with Yuan Shu. Yes, I agree. I find it hard to bear the boorish Yuan Shu naming himself Emperor. I am aware of why we are here! It is time to slay Yuan Shu! I expect you to fight like warriors of a noble army! You bring shame to the noble house of Yuan. Your traitorous ways must be ended at once. Welcome, welcome. Do please come again. <laughs> 